Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. What, what about um, dosing bottled bacteria to increase the diversity of the bacteria in ah. your system? Okay. Now, uh, this is a wonderful question. First, uh, I'd like to rock some boats, okay? We always believe in biodiversity. The more, the better. I question that. You said, really? That, where did that concept come from? Normally, the concept come from is that you try to mimic the ocean. That is a fundamental concept. And the ocean, actually, ocean water, uh, I remember I read somewhere in a magazine, uh, science magazine or something like that, uh, you said the ocean water is the dirtiest water on the surface of Earth because there's so much bacteria, so much pathogen inside. So now, uh, actually, when you think about it this way, do we, first of all, do we need to duplicate the, the, the nature with our aquaculture coral? So are uh, all these bacteria and virus uh, fungi and uh, parasites in the ocean water that, that make up this biodiversity are really helpful. So let me give you one example, the way how I think about it. Okay, this is an apple, okay? This is a modern day apple. That's a market, market basket, pretty good, okay? <laughs> so try to imagine this. Um, let's roll the time back 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years ago, and then the, the, a human being are pretty in sync with nature because they're surrounded by nature. Now try to imagine this apple 10,000 years ago. It's going to be a wild apple. You will have a lot more biodiversity on the surface of the apple. Alongside with all the uh, food, the hygiene at the time, there will be a lot more biodiversity for human being at the time for the, from the environment. What's the average lifespan? 20 years. For, you, what for a human. That? Yeah, for a human. Yeah. Right now, we're looking at 70, 80, 90, okay? If you look at our living condition, our living condition has the, our living environment, your bed, your room, the food you eat, the apple you eat, well, organic apple especially, it actually has much, much less biodiversity. So basically, what antibiotics do? Antibiotic revolutionized the whole human being lifespan. Seriously, just roll back 100 years ago. And if you look at the human lifespan, how we conquer all the disease and how we make the healthy human is when the antibiotic was invented and found and discovered. So that changed the, the, our living environment. That made people live a much healthier life. But what is the actual effect the actual effect is that we have a decreased biodiversity in our living environment. Okay, now, so uh, let me give you another example. Now I drop this apple on the floor. Five second rules, right? <laughs> if you go to Asian country, you drop this apple on the floor, nobody's going to eat it. <laughs> nobody's going to eat it. So, nobody's going to eat After it. After five there's seconds, no five second there's no five second rule. rule. Nope. No fasting rule. Immediately, this, this apple will go into the sink, get washed, and clean up before you, people eat it. And actually, there's uh, uh, when I was a kid, that when I watched uh, the, the Western movie, when people eat apple, they do this. <laughs> see? And this. And then they start eating it. This is absolutely unbelievable, in, in, like in China. Absolutely unbelievable. You, you, over there, there's a, a lot more biodiversity for bacteria, for virus. In the environment, you have to wash your vegetable. You have to wash your fruit before you eat it. No five-second rule. Because here, uh, if you drop it on the street, yeah, your five-second rule probably still apply. That is because here... Depends what street. Much, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course not the New York City, right? In the middle of the city, right? So then the, uh, uh, the difference is that the major point is that when your apple drop to a less biodiverse surface, it's actually safer to eat. Let's go back to the reef tank. So uh, clownfish, the wild clownfish has a much shorter lifespan 
than uh, the captive uh, clownfish. Of course, that if you don't have accidentally exposed to egg or kill kill them, whatever thing. So uh, in general, uh, captive bred clownfish in a reef tank has a much longer lifespan than they're, they're in the wild. When you compare the reef tank to the ocean, not only there's much less biodiversity in the reef tank, also much less predators. <laughs> Actually, predator also should be considered as a biodiversity as a part of component. That's something that eat you. So that is the thing is that, do we really need biodiversity in order for the coral to thrive? So if you talk about a captive animal, cats and dogs, cats and dogs, actually, you can see that uh, your puppy probably live a longer life than the, than the coyote outside. Why is that? Because your puppy go to the doctor, you, cut, you, you pay for the vet, and then the puppy drink clean water, they eat healthy food, which all have the one important thing, less biodiversity. And now let's look at, talk about bacteria. This is the bottle I opened yesterday. <clears throat> when I was in grad school, there's a project uh, in a, for chemistry class. They study that um, if you open a bottle of water, then the bacteria start to quickly, rapidly multiply in there. The conclusion is that after eight hours, merely eight hours, this water is undrinkable because the amount of bacteria in here. So same thing happened to the reef tank. So the bacterial growth is such a rapid, uh, they grow so rapid, for example, they duplicate, they double the colony in four to eight hours, something like that. So in that case, that whatever bacteria in your tank will replenish itself just overnight. So when you get your car key, get in your car, drive to the pet shop, buy the bacteria in a bottle, the bacteria in your tank already double. <laughs> exactly. So you're saying, you're saying the diversity of adding bottled bacteria is not necessarily going to help things. Yes, absolutely. First of all, it's not necessarily uh, can help things. Second, it can be potentially introduce more pathogenic bacteria in there. So the thing is that if your coral is happy, sit back, relax, enjoy the tank. Don't add, uh, don't complicate the environment. So complicating environment always uh, uh, can lead to one uh, consequence is that it's destroy the environment.